Have you participated How are you? in the rise of the equity markets in the United States? Well, I think that uh, I was relatively positive about U.S. stocks since March 2009. I haven't any short positions. I haven't been shorting any stocks since 2009. But uh, the U.S. March is up, consumer confidence March is down, and emerging markets are performing badly relative to the U.S. The dollar is strong, indicating uh, tightening mm -hmm. of uh, international liquidity. And so I don't think that the U.S. market will go up a lot from here. I rather think that there is now considerable downside risk. Mark, you have a unique perspective on continental Europe, Switzerland, Germany, and the rest of the cacophony uh, right now. Just your thoughts on the past week and a half that we've seen. Can Europe repair its house? They can repair it, and actually Europe has now a current account surplus, which is positive. But obviously the economy is contracting. Uh, we are in recession in Europe. And this will have an impact on the corporate profits of U.S. corporations as well, because, uh, say, 40 percent of S&P earnings come from overseas, but the bulk actually comes from Europe of those 40 percent and not from emerging economies. And so I think that corporate profits in the U.S. will continue to contract as they have actually, according to S&P, contracted in the fourth quarter of 2012. Mm. If you're looking at doom and gloom, Mark, you have to obviously be owning gold. <laughs> Why hasn't it held up as a safe haven? Well, you see, when you print money, the money doesn't flow evenly into the economic system. It stays essentially in the financial service industry and among people that have access to these funds, mostly well-to-do people, it doesn't go to the worker. Now, I just mentioned it doesn't flow evenly into the system. Now, from time to time, it will lift the Nasdaq, like between 97 and March 2000. Then it lifted home prices in the U.S. until 2007. And then it lifted commodity prices in 2008 until July. 2008 when the global economy was already right. in recession and more recently it's lifted selected emerging economies stock markets Indonesia the Philippines Thailand up four times from the right. 2009 lows and now the US so we're creating bubbles and bubbles and bubbles and uh, it, also this bubble will come to an end my concern is that we're going to have a systemic crisis where it's going to be very difficult to hide. Okay, Mark. Even I've... in gold will be difficult to hide. Mark, my final question to you is simple. Within your report <laughs> and the great caution that your readers look for from you, we've just seen bank accounts raided in Cyprus. Does this set a precedence <laughs> yeah. for Europe or is it a one-off event in Cyprus? <laughs> Well, MF Global, uh, the depositors were also raided. It's nothing unusual. And philosophically, I believe that uh, we shouldn't have deposit insurances, blanket insurances by governments, because it would force savers to be very careful with which bank they would deposit the money. And so the good banks would pay very low interest and take low risks. And uh, Banks that take high risks, they would have high interest. By the way, right. in Cyprus, banks were paying very high interest. Like in Lebanon at the present time, I can get 6% on my deposits. So the depositors should have known something is dangerous. Right. But I would say the principle now is very important to understand. Until now, the bailouts in Europe and in the U.S. were at the expense of the taxpayer. And from now onwards, in my view, the bailouts will be also at the expense of the asset holders, the well-to-do people. So if you have money, like I am concerned, I am sure the governments will take away one day, say, 20, 30 percent of my wealth. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Mark Faber, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs>